Yeah, you all ready? Yeah. I saw some plugs being put in. Sure. When I responded earlier, I hadn't seen the image itself. And seeing the image, it jarred me. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to come out and give a statement, but I got a message from a friend. And I faced a lot of racism in my life, and I can be honest with you, I fought back when I faced racism. I, I fought back with my fists. But there's a lot of people that weren't able to do that. One of my friends told me how he wasn't able to do that. And seeing this image today, the kids that see this image, and the people that see this image, are going to think about all the times in their life that they were made fun of, that they were hurt, that they were hit, that they were insulted, that they were made to feel less because of who they are. And I want to talk to those people right now. I want to talk to all the kids out there, all the folks who live this and now are grown up and are still feeling the pain of racism. I want you to know that you might feel like giving up on Canada. You might feel like giving up on yourselves. I want you to know that you have value, you have worth, and you are loved. And I don't want you to give up on Canada, and please don't give up on yourselves. There's so many people in this country that believe in taking care of one another. I know it's hard to believe right now, but there are. And together, we are going to come together and take care of one another. So seeing this image is going to be hard for a lot of people. It's going to bring up a lot of pain. It's going to bring up a lot of hurt. Please reach out to your loved ones. Please reach out to people who are suffering in silence right now. Please let them know that they are loved and they are celebrated for who they are. Si je peux le dire en français, je sais que ces images vont rappeler des souvenirs pour beaucoup de gens. Et je veux parler à la jeunesse maintenant. Je sais que Après voir ces images du Premier ministre, vous, vous, vous pensez vous rappeler les moments que, quand vous étiez ridiculisé, quand vous étiez insulté, quand vous étiez, quand vous se sentiez que vous étiez moins. Et je sais ça va être tellement difficile. Je sais que ça va heurter beaucoup. Et je, vous, je veux vous dire ça à tous les gens, toutes les personnes qui vont souvenir vont rappeler des souvenirs tellement, tellement négatifs. Je veux vous dire que vous avez valeur, que vous êtes aimé. Et je sais que ça, ça c'est difficile de croire maintenant, mais, mais il y a plusieurs personnes à travers ce pays qui veulent vous aider, qui sont des alliés. Et ensemble, on veut bâtir une meilleure société. Merci. Vous avez l'air vraiment marqué par cette image. En fait, euh, ce n'était pas à cause de moi. Parce que dans ma vie, j'ai vraiment lutté contre le racisme. Quand quelqu'un était raciste, j'ai lutté contre ça, contre ça. Mais c'était à cause des amis qui m'ont envoyé des messages. Et je me souviens, j'ai rappelé que ce n'était pas la même chose pour beaucoup de monde. Beaucoup de monde n'a pas eu la chance de lutter contre le racisme. Ils n'ont pas les moyens, ils n'ont pas les ressources. Ils n'ont pas les capacités. Je pense de eux maintenant. Et c'est tellement difficile. You um, seemed extremely emotional when talking just now, and you said that this jarred you. Can you tell us a little bit about why this personally jarred you so much? Well, that's just it. It doesn't jar me personally, if I can be really honest with you. Uh, when I was growing up, I fought racists. I dealt with them myself, and I fought back. But I got a message from a friend who reminded me that there's a lot of people out there that couldn't do that. They couldn't fight back. They didn't have the ability to do that. They couldn't, they couldn't do it themselves. And I think that it's going to hurt to see this. It's going to hurt them a lot. The Prime Minister has apologized. He said, he didn't think it was racist at the time. He realizes now that it is. And he's going to continue going on in the election campaign. I'm wondering, do you think his apology is enough for him to say, back then in 2001, I didn't think it was racist. Now I realize I've made a mistake. You know, today I'm not speaking to the Prime Minister. And it's not for me to say that. It's for the people to decide. I'm speaking today to young people 
to people who've grown up with racism, people who've grown up being, being told that they were less, being told that they were less worthy, less valuable, and who couldn't fight back and had no way to stand up for themselves. I'm speaking to them, and I want them to know that you are valued, you are loved, you have worth, and please don't let this make you give up on yourself or give up on Canada, because we live in a beautiful place. Quand vous avez pris un moment deux, il y a deux secondes, vous pensiez à quelqu'un de précis et à une situation précise. Vous devez nous la décrire, ça. C'est une situation précise que je ne peux pas raconter que parce qu'il m'a dit qu'il n'a jamais parlé de ça dans sa vie. Comment la, la réponse du premier ministre, selon vous, est adéquate ou non adéquate? Ça, c'est une question que euh, la population canadienne veut répondre. Euh, je vais parler aux gens, aux populations qui vont être touchées par cet incident et je sais que ça va heurter beaucoup. Merci il beaucoup. A dit, il a dit Merci. aussi qu'il était un ami des communautés. All right. We have been listening to NDP leader Jagmeet Singh again. Uh, we heard from him earlier this evening when he had been told about this breaking story about the Prime Minister, or the Liberal leader Justin Trudeau, uh, wearing brown face at a school party in uh, British Columbia in 2001. He was 29 years old. He was a teacher. It was a gala at this party, and uh, he wore a he wore brown face as part. There you see the photo again. He wore brown face as part of a an Aladdin outfit for an Arabian Nights uh, themed gala. He has also admitted that he wore face makeup as well uh, in high school when he performed uh, the song Deo, uh, a Harry Belafonte classic. Uh, he also told reporters about that tonight, and he was pressed about whether there were other incidents, and he said he was dealing with this one tonight uh, and left it at that. He has uh, apologized. He is uh, asking Canadians for forgiveness. He says it was a dumb thing to do. He didn't think it was racist at the time, but he knows it is now. Uh, let me show you the, the statement uh, that Justin Trudeau made at the the back of his campaign plane before leaving Halifax this evening as this story was breaking. Here's what he told reporters. In 2001, uh, when I was a teacher out in Vancouver, I attended an end-of-year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. En 2001, euh, 